What's up, guys? This is Cody Deal, celebrity host for MediaBoulevard.com, and I am here with Merlin himself, the star of Sci-Fi's Merlin and BBC's Merlin. What's up, man? Hey, Cody. How's it going? Good, good. Okay, so um, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, season four? You guys, you guys have done three seasons. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's kind of like on a five-episode guest star arc. Mm -hmm. um, what what can we expect from Merlin this season? Uh, big changes. I mean, it's, it's the most surprises I've experienced in, in the series, uh, in, in the season so far. Whenever you read the scripts and and, um, and you know what to expect, but this season, um, I've generally been reading the scripts, going, "Whoa, are we actually are we going in that direction? Are we going this this way?" I mean, the, the posters themselves even have a, a darker, more mature feel to it, and the characters yes. have a have a is going in that same direction. So, uh, so yeah, for as an actor to read it and and to, and to not see it coming to be used surprised at where the stories are going. I mean, that's liberating. You know, from actor and actor, what, what has been the best thing about the production itself um, doing Merlin? Is this the first, like, fantasy film that you've ever done? Yeah, I mean, this is the first fantasy stuff, and it's like, I mean, I'm sure you know stuff, like working in the, in the, the action scenes, the stuff that you get to do is, uh, I mean, that, that's brilliant, you know, it's, it's uh, when, when else did you ever get to you know, wield a sword and, <laughs> and, and fight it for, your, for, for a day job? And, yeah. And um, for me, it's not so much about that, it's about, it's about the it's about the magic and, and the, the, yes. that's more than talent. Um, but the variety that you get in the show is, 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 what, is what's fantastic, is that you've got the action, the adventure, but you also get some really dramatic stuff and um, where they want to really want to get to the heart of the characters as, as well as the heart of the stories and the heart of where this whole um, the whole series is going. And to me, it feels like this season is getting to the heart of everyone um, and, and the heart of the kingdom and where it's all going. And it feels, yeah, the, the, the things are just, just maturing in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, can we expect to see the dragon this uh, this season? Yes, this we season? will. Yeah, okay. yeah, the dragon's okay. back, voiced by, voiced by the great John Hurt, uh, which is which is awesome. So, uh, how far how, are you guys uh, uh, actually filming uh, season four? Are you done filming? No, we're filming at the minute. We're, we're, about, we're about two thirds the way through. Okay. So, so yeah, we got we got a week off. We got one week off each year, and uh, this is our week off. We're just gonna spend here, and um, and then yeah, we go back to finish it off. Nice, nice. Now, can you tell me a little bit about uh, old Merlin here? Who, yeah. What's happening here, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, old Merlin, we, we... No, you have to explain to me, too. Is, is that actually you? This is me. Okay, that is you. Yeah, genuinely me. <laughs> After after five hours of prosthetic makeup, um, which is which is great. I mean, it's a great chances as, as an actor to do something like that and, and uh, to change your physicality so much. Um, what's, what's good fun is that it's it's Merlin playing an old man as opposed to actually being an old man. Um, so and that's what you can get away with. Um, that's good. As, as that and and, um, and just so happens to be you know ignorance and, and sort of you know crotchety old kind of you know which which old people can get away with. Right. Exactly. Now now um, the. Uh, with the prosthetics and stuff like that, I mean, that's all practical, right? Mm -hmm. So um, when you look in the mirror, what do you think? Well, when, as soon as you see it, I mean, you see the whole process happening. That's the thing. You, so you, you see yourself from the beginning when they put this sort of ball cap on you and they wax all your hair back and they, they you know, play. Your, they put these layers of like protective stuff on your skin and then they put it on. So you see the whole process happening. But yet, you know, whenever you have to sort of step off set for a second, you just have to clap and catch yourself in the mirror. It's still shocking to see it that you go, "Am I actually going to look like this?" Whenever you know, in you know, 60 years' time, um, but that was exciting. And this is. Um, this is the first time as well in this season that you actually see old Merlin as he is in the future. So we've seen him before whenever it's Merlin putting on that disguise, but we actually see him as as how he will be in, in 60 years' time. Right. So um, after since you landed Merlin and, and all that type of thing, it's been going on for uh, several seasons now. Has that has that um, done a lot for your career? And uh, what can we maybe expect from you? Um, uh, is there any other projects that, that you've been approached about or that you're uh, in development? Um, yeah, well, whenever you do a show like this, it's great because not only do you, do you get the chance to better yourself as much as you can every day and, and work as much as you can and try to be try to learn from every single day and every single second and um, it benefits you personally but it also when the show's out there people know about it and, and it does open more doors but it doesn't always guarantee um, a seat in the house as it, so so you got to go in and every time you got to you got to just take it as it is um, uh, for me, I've been very lucky so far. I've got to do um, a couple of films in between. I did a film called Island, which I did up in Scotland, which is um, which is, has been doing the rounds in the UK and it's out on DVD. Um, and 
film uh, I did in Dublin called Parked, which will actually it should be released in cinemas in the States next year in um, March time, and in the UK this November. So, uh, so yeah, I'm excited to have all this stuff out there and, and to be working on it and cool. doing theatre as well. Cool, Colin. And that last question for you. How's your American accent, by the way? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Wait, do you want me to do it? <laughs> yeah, I want you to do it. Can you do it? Uh, well, well, earlier on, somebody was, was asking me what this is, and I was like, it's a bottle of water. And they were like, no, it's a bottle of water. I was like, oh, okay. So uh, I got to order bottles of water in an American accent from now on. That's, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, no, I'd love to, I'd love to come out and, and um, you know, get a chance to, you know, because some of the American strips yeah. floating around are, are fantastic at the minute, so yeah, it'd be great to work over here at some stage. In just growing up in Ireland and um, doing a lot of film in the UK, um, is, there, is there a level of respect or almost disrespect for Hollywood when you come from a, 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 um, a what am I trying to say, a, a, come from an upbringing? Um, in yeah, a, that's so separate from, yes. from yeah, um, it's funny because I guess people... People, it's people's natural assumption that, you know, because people always say, oh, you'll be off to Hollywood next or something. Like, you know, it's, it's always got a sort of um, a cliched feel to it, um, that, that's, that that's the inevitable conclusion of where you're supposed to go. Um, so it's so it's, yeah, it's it's a funny thing. I've never actually probably been out um, to LA to experience what that's like and, and to really um, to do that. So I, and so I is that speak. something that that does interest you though? Yeah, I think it'd be good. You've got to, I think you've got to try everything at least yeah. at least once and see see what it's all about and. and um, yeah, yeah. Yes. any advice you can offer me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Colin, man, I really appreciate uh, your time, man. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, so, Thank you so much for your time. Cheers, man. Yeah. Cheers.